Dear brothers and sisters, have a good day. Today is 5, 10, 20, 17. Everybody asking about uh, IPOB leader, our brothers, His Excellency Mazi Namdi Kano. I would like to inform you from here, he is very, very fine. Because of security reason, nobody should know where he is. I think so. Uh, so, please uh, don't ask where he is, but he's fine, we know, and the family members, they are fine. And uh, as I told you before, if we have a discipline for the administration of the steps and uh, for the future of the nation, we have to take care about our steps. As I informed you before, please do not make any protest in, uh, in, 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 in Nigeria because, you know, something is coming very bad. So, better, as I told you before, better to make an organization outside of the country because the freedom steps not easy not it is coming uh, in one day two day if you remember the mandela and the other freedom fighters or the referendum organizers you will see how they moved in the struggle time or self determination so please do not make any protest in nigeria because some terrorist organization like Boko Haram or the Gulenist movement or FETO terror organization or other terrorist group which they are active in Nigeria or in Africa, they are attacking you. They are, they are using the governments. So please do not make any protest in the state that you are living. Who will going to work for the struggle for IPOB, for IPOB flag, for IPOB nation? The IPOB members outside of the country, they are active, they are living, they are working, and they have to work like you because you already did it many people many people of ipob members in nigeria they lose their life because of protests which they are doing in the country so please be careful because of the terrorist organization we can say because we see the army they are shooting maybe they are not Nigerians, Boko Haram and the terrorist organization like they did it in Turkey they use the uniform of the army and they are attacking to the people for uh, Biafrans so please do not make any protest we don't want to lose our life in the hand of the terrorist organizations So uh, each country member of the IPOB members for each country, uh, they have to make a protest. They started already in many countries. In program, in the program, we have to make a program. For example, every week or every two weeks, they have to organize a protest front of the British Embassy, which is very important, because they are the reason for Biafra case issue. The second step should be to Nigerian Embassy and also to United Nations. Three points we have. One, front of the British Embassy worldwide. Second, front of the 
United Nations representative for each country, third, front of the Nigerian embassies worldwide. As a special advisor of the His Excellency Namdi Kano and the Biafra Nation, I would like to inform you this program again and again. We don't want to lose any life in Nigeria for Biafrans. So please do protest outside of the country, not inside of the country. Because outside of the country, front of the British Embassy or front of the United Nations representative for each country or front of the embassies outside of the Nigeria, they don't have weapon to shoot you. So nobody will die. So this is uh, this is propaganda healthy way for the our nation and the human human being for mankind. We don't want to lose any life because IPOB issue is peaceful issue. We want peace. We don't want to fight. We don't want to kill. And we don't want anybody die for this matter. And I am already informed uh, on my social media. We have to organize a political party. I offer you the name of the party that we can organize in uh, in uh, Nigeria. GDP, which is Justice and Development Party. It must organize in Nigeria very soon and very urgent. Because if you have a political party, which is Justice and Development Party for the nation, so we can talk on the street with permission from the government. And also we can talk in the parliament. We can talk front of the media, local and international. So this is the best way. The same thing happened happen in Turkey. Uh, H, uh, ADP, H, D, P. We have. They are talking about the referendum or the, the freedom of the Kurdistan government. So same thing possible for our nation, for the Biafrans, uh, Justice and Development Party, which is GDP. It is the best way, democratic way and healthy way for everyone. Nobody can stop you because legal, there is nothing illegal and they are not terrorists because 70 million of the Biafrans, local and international, they can vote for their party. And you, you will have many members of the parliament in the uh, General Assembly in, 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 in Parliament of the Nigeria. You will have governors, you will have, uh, have members of the parliaments, you will have many people that they will going to work administration of the government in Biafra, Biafra land. So 70 million is not small. It is very big and powerful. There is no power more than nation. So nobody can stop because legal. Officially, we will going to be registered GDP, which is Justice and Development Party for the Biafrans. So it will be very easy. Nobody will die and we can inform local and international media and the all human being about the uh, Biafra issue. Because, believe me, I'm outside of the Turkey, you know, after how many months I know Nigeria, uh, uh, how many years, I just get the information about the struggle of the Biafra. So we have to inform the case of the Biafra with democratic way, peaceful way, which is uh, through parliament and the local and international media. And I told you again, uh, the leader is fine, healthy, and he will come back. But you know the situation, uh, the government of uh, Nigeria, they say uh, 
the IPOB is terrorist organization now is more difficult than before. So we have to find out the solution. There is plan A, there is plan B. So we have to organize this uh, democratic party, which is Justice and Development Party for, for IPOB. Not for IPOB, for all Nigerians also. Everybody can participate this party. Everybody can. Uh, every, everybody have free invitation from the uh, GDP, which is our party. So we can organize the president, vice president, administration, and the branch offices for the, each state, not only in the Biafra land, everywhere, everywhere in Nigeria, even Delta, Enugu, Kanu, this, that, everywhere, everywhere of the Nigeria. 37 states will have representative of the uh, Justice and Development Party in Nigeria and also outside of the uh, Nigeria, abroad. The representatives, even in United Nations, we, we will have representative office there. So 70 million is power. So don't lose this power. If you can work your brain, you will win. So we have to concentrate about this party. And then our, our leader can come in again in healthy condition to start his propaganda in democratic way. I think you understand, or I try. Uh, I think you, I explain it to you. So please try your best and inform each one, house by house. No need protest in Nigeria. For to not die anyone else. No need protest in Nigeria. Outside, outside, outside of the Nigeria, in any country, and if IPOB is is not registered in any country, they have to go to Minister of Interior or the Department of the Associations, Department for the, each government, they can apply their documentation to register in each country worldwide. And then they can start uh, activity for IPOB. This is the best way. And uh, if you do not make any protest or any activity uh, in Nigeria, we will not lose our nation. You don't need to wear also the flag, flag uh, or because you know you are the Biafran, you don't need to show anyone else. You are staying in the Biafra line and you don't need to show them. We, we will show them with the, uh, the flag of the GDP, Justice and Development Party flag. Thank you very much for your kind attention and listening. Please try this program. And if you not listen, you are free. And if you not listen to your administration or the leader or leaders, how you will get the, how you will get the freedom or the right thing that you are fighting for? Thank you very much. With my best regard to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters. God bless you.